So welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today we're going to outer space. Today we're going to talk about the space shuttle. When I was designing this model, the actual space shuttle, if we were to make it to a Lego man size, would actually only be quite small, only sort of be about a foot and a half long. So I really wanted to make it a bit bigger and grander than what that would be. So I decided on a different scale than what we normally work with, something called Miniland scale, which is what they use in the Legoland theme parks around the world. So it basically makes it about a meter and a half long in size. And then when I was designing it, I'm thinking, hmm, well, you know, the interesting part about it is the top of it. So how do we display it so you can see with the doors open and things happening like the Canada arm coming out and an astronaut spacewalking. And that's when I come up with the idea of actually hanging the model upside down. So it actually sits above you, if you like, with the doors open facing downwards. So I really wanted to try and create that feeling of weightlessness and actually being in space. So combined with the space shuttle itself, which has the doors open and the arm out, it's actually deploying a satellite. Now that satellite itself is really interesting. I've never made a satellite before and I was thinking about how it has the solar panels that come out of the sides of the satellite and how do I achieve that. It uses quite a rare colour which is called earth blue. And the second one is this trans light blue colour which is often used as water. Yeah, for those who love your Lego Chima, for example, say this colour happens quite a lot. It's the colour of the chi pieces in Lego Chima. Anyway, so basically putting these on top of each other like this, is that's what gave me that awesome sort of effect, if you like, of the solar panels. And so I made these huge big long pieces that come out off the satellite to give that solar panel effect. Now the really interesting part of that is, is we reused this same technique when we made the International Space Station for our Wonders of the World exhibition. So if you want to see where our space shuttle is, it's part of the Brickman Experience exhibition which, uh, which is touring around and it uh, uh, forms part of a space theme. So it's together with the Saturn V rocket and of course our giant X-Wing which is super awesome too. So